much to be longer on this issue and we are joined via zoom by security analyst adip sani for more on speculation good evening to you and welcome to this night now what are your initial reaction to the compensation that was paid to the victims of the jura shooting incidents last year well first of all um the recommendation to pay compensation was done by the committee put together mm. to look into what happened Unfortunately, as characteristic of government, you know, when it comes to compensation, there was a delay until the office of the attorney general last year um, recommended to the Ministry of Interior to ensure that these monies are paid and was quite and was specific about the amounts to be paid to who. It was on the back of earlier compensation that was uh, paid to the families of uh, the two who were killed. Um, and so it is refreshing that finally the payments have been made, even though I feel it is not enough because mm. these people are permanently incapacitated. Um, definitely their livelihood would be affected. It has affected them psychologically as well and all that. So I was thinking that it could have even been paid more. But let's not make mistake to think that compensation means finality to the issue. And I think that is where we get it wrong. Um, you know, when, when you, especially when, when you revisit the killings, um, in, in Kumasi of the, 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 the Zungo, Zungo young men by the police, uh, their families were paid compensation woefully inadequate. To date, nobody has been held to account for the killings. So this compensation shouldn't be misconstrued to mean that uh, the issue has been closed. No, the families still deserve closure. They are still calling for uh, justice, and justice has to be served. Mm. And if you mentioned there's not enough, what would have been the appropriate amount of money to be given to these three victims and even an alternative? Well, well you see, there, there's a formula, and the formula is different from one country to another. In fact, before I came on air, I was making some comparative analysis, South Africa, the US, the UK, and some other countries. Uh, a lot of things goes into consideration. What was the person engaged in before the injury? Okay, how many people rely on the person? Mm. How much was the person earning? Okay, so for example, uh, these days when you hire a laborer uh, to work on your property, the least they are paid now is 100 CDs a day. Some take as much as 150 CDs. Depends if, on whether the person is a mason mm. or, or a laborer. And they, you know, they have different names they call them. So multiply that amount by the 20 working days within a month. Multiply it by a year. And the number of years the person would have to work before perhaps getting tired and, you know, going on retirement. I think that um, it should have been a lot more. Certainly not the amount uh, we see it. But what is most important beyond this is for justice to be served. And I'm hoping that uh, we learn from this and um, take adequate measures mm. equally as has been taken with this issue to compensate the families and those who were also hurt uh, during the last election. Still, we are not hearing anything. Um, one of the persons killed is, is a personal friend. Um, the family is still wondering what is going on. Mm. So at least uh, we, we stop this uh, cycle of impunity, especially going into next year's elections. Mm. Now, you mentioned your earlier submission that um, the amount of money paid to them as compensation doesn't bring finality to the issue. What should be done going forward? A quick one, please. Justice should be served. A, a, a thorough, transparent investigation needs to be conducted, and whoever is found culpable should be brought to book according to the law. The same is said about the elections that happened in uh, 2020. Some Ghanaians were killed. They are not animals. They are human beings. Those families also deserve justice. 
And that is exactly what should be the most important thing to achieve, not even the money is paid. Thank you, Adif Sani, grateful. And Adif Sani is a security analyst. I'll from that. Now, three drivers transporting pepper and tomatoes from Boko and